I'm chosen. I'm the chosen one. I'm the chosen one. And they are not. I'm the chosen one and they're not the chosen ones. That's why I'm built for what I go through on a daily basis. And they are not. Because these people, man, they start throwing shade at you and just doing all these detestable things. But that's why I'm the chosen one. Because God knew it. God knew me before the foundations of the world. He knew me before I was in the womb. He knew every mistake I'd make. He knew everything I would do. And he'd know and he knew that I'd come back to him regardless of everything that I've done. And that's why I was picked, I was chosen, because he knew all this stuff was going to happen to me and I'd still lean on him. No matter how far, no matter how much I drifted away from him. He always knew that I would come back to him. And uh, it's reassuring. Because I know that the Lord's hand is upon me, no matter what I do. Even though I might, like, steer off course and do stupid things. And it all catches up to me, it all has to be recompensated upon my own head. At the end of the day, I know that <clears throat> the Lord says in his word, I will not lose one that the Father has given unto me. So I have faith in that, that I'll never be lost when Christ is there. And the devil can try to throw things in your head, all sorts of things that you've done this and that, and you've drifted too far, and, you know, you've, you've done it now, and you've forsaken him, so now he's forsaken you, and it's like, no, it's not the case. You can really, you know, you can really drift, though. And the devil can convince you that you've done, like, the unpardonable sin and all these stupid things because you've done sin. And when you sin, it welcomes demons into your life. Demons are just a pattern of thought. They, they can create mental strongholds in your head. Always at the worst time... The worst time. Always at the worst time when I'm doing a video. People have to arrive. Uh, but what I'm saying is that there's people in work and they know I'm the chosen one. And I know that I'm strong enough to overcome them because that's why God chose me. Because of my strength and the gifts that I possess. And he knows I can overcome these. Whereas they will be overcame by me. You just have to keep pushing on, man, and it's, it's it's it can give me anxiety sometimes, you know, because of the lack of trust in myself, you know, disbelief. That I can't do this when I know full well I can do this. I'm cut out for it. I built for it. It's my purpose. I'm purposed for this. This is my destiny to do this. You know, whatever this is, I'm just walking on in work. Just my presence people can't take, you just can't handle it, they cannot handle it. They just can't handle to see me successful. They're just lousy people, man. They're really lousy people. And they're never going to amount to anything, because they ain't got it in them. You don't have the mindset of what it is to be successful and it's not it doesn't matter about being successful it matters about me accomplishing my p purpose my destiny me being the best version of myself and they just can't stand that that i'm doing what's good for me what's best for me and they don't have the balls to do that they don't have the balls to be themselves they don't have the courage because they, they lack understanding they lack the understanding of what it really means to be successful, you know, not care about what other people think and other opinions. 
because it's that ultimately that really prevents people from fulfilling their dreams and living in their true calling, being themselves because they want to fit in. They want to be liked by people. And I ain't about that, man. I just want to do me and be in my own lane. And these people are always trying to, you know what I mean? Like pretend like we're friends and I'm not your friend, bro. I'm a leader. I'm here to give advice and that's, that's all to you people. I'm not your friend. Fair enough, there will be true friends that will come along this path, but these people aren't my friends. They aren't, they're nothing to me. They're just hindrances, they're just blockages, they're just obstacles. And at the minute, they're going to do everything they can in their power, which is just getting my way to stop me from being myself. Because they're insecure. They don't have what it takes to be a success. They don't know what it means to be themselves. Their identity is in other people. They just don't have any sort of true calling on their life. They have no passion for life. They just don't, period. They have no strength. They are weak people. Scumbags, morons. But we fight day on, day out, day in, day out, overcoming the sleaze bags that they are. They will be overtaken by this world and by the way it's heading, the strong delusion that God will send them into. They will serve their own lusts and their own desires and it will lead them to derision derision and destruction because they refused the love of the knowledge of the truth they had a chance certain people many have called but few were chosen I was chosen they had a chance and they refused it now evil and the mask is coming off and it's all manifesting this is a spiritual war this is war and I don't plan to play games like these little pretend illusionary people in my life that are there just to ride the wave pretty much just ain't about that man I ain't, I ain't about messing with these people because that's all they're, that's all they're including in is messing with people's lives they just mess around they have no maturity they have no ambition, they have no goals they have no like strive in them you know, striving forward to prosper. They have nothing. Some of them, nothing but, like, women, you know, nothing but what's in between the legs to get in a guy's life, to get in a guy's head. Trying to seduce me sexually and stuff, and it's just like, get the fuck out of here, man. Evil people is what I'm dealing with on a day-to-day -day basis. They're trying to constantly drag me down, pull me down, back into the way I used to be. You know, I'm constantly giving them chances, like, nah, man, I'm done with it all that. Never again. I'm above you, I've outgrown you all, every one of you. I'm onto bigger, bigger things, higher heights. New endeavors, new mountains. I'm moving mountains. You're at the bottom of it. You know what I'm saying? Like, It is what it is, you know what I mean? These people are letting life pass them by. They, they're no good as, they're, they're good for nothing. They have no talent, they're a wasted talent. Some of them are clever, but they don't have what it takes. You know, they don't have what it takes to bring whatever it is inside of them out. They haven't got confidence, they, they haven't got the balls to be who they want to be to be the person that they want to be. That's the way it's always gonna that's the way it's always gonna be. That's the way it's always going to be. Good versus evil. And they, they don't have anything on me. Like they don't have anything on me. These people like 
try bringing me down. And the only way they can do that is by literally getting in my way. And, and when I say literally getting in my way, I literally mean I'll get on with my job. I'll just be cracking on with it. And these people are just trying to literally get in my way, slow me down, distracting me with just all kinds of stupid behaviour, gossip, whatever, slandering my name, lying behind my back. It's just pettiness. And some of them are grown adults. And they think we're friends. And, oh, we had a, we had a conversation. It's like, yeah, we had a conversation, bro. That doesn't mean I'm your mate. You're just someone I spoke to. A hindrance in my life. Get behind me. You peasant. You pagan. You are not a warrior. I don't see anything of value in you. Don't step to me like you know me. You fool. Like, you have no presence, you have no demeanour about you. You just stand there. I'm sorry, I don't mean to judge these people, but it's like, the dumb asses they are. Point blank period, these people are dumb asses. They're never going to amount to shit. I just can't believe I have to deal with these people on a regular, man. I need to get out, man. I am getting out. And they're just like, there, in the way all the time as I'm just getting on my job and doing my thing I'm progressing I'm successing and then they just come here tch, every time people walk past me it's tch. you know how annoying that is but I don't let it phase me I just get on with the job and and these people don't think I'm serious they, they think I'm not to be taken serious but they copy me all the time always emulating what I'm doing always in competition with me but yet they treat me like I'm a joke. But like you're copying this joke. So who's the real joke here? You are. Someone that is not original. They have nothing to offer. They have to copy people all the time. They don't know how to be themselves. They don't know how to communicate with other people. So they just slander and gossip all the time about other people. Nothing positive ever comes out of the mouth. It's just always negative. Always to bring people down. Always to get a reaction. Their joy is in making other people suffer. Narcissistic, narcissistic behaviour. They're, they're narcissists. And they can't stand the sight of seeing someone who they once knew to be progressing more than they are because it makes them feel bad about themselves. Because they just simply know that they can't ever do it. They don't have it in them. They don't have that willpower. And, you know, like I say, some of them are strong-willed. But they aren't consistent. They are a liability to themselves. They are an embarrassment to themselves and others around them. They are a shame to themselves. And they know it. That's why they're so insecure. And they have to constantly try and find people to bring down on their level. They haven't, they haven't got no healing ability. They haven't got no, nothing to, to bring up. They can't, they can't lift, they can't add. They always have to reduce, diminish. They can't rise, they fall, they can't bring up, they tear down, do you know what I mean? These people are wasteful, reckless, dangerous people to be involved with, they really are. They will destroy you mentally and emotionally if you let them in, if you get deep with them. Because these people put on a mask, and they're charming and they're charismatic, and I'm talking specifically about narcissists here. And people like me who are empathic and just naturally giving and generous and kind, we're like magnets to these people. They feed off us, they leech to us, latch to us and leech. And take, take, take. That's all they do. That's all they can do. And they put on this mask. And little... The whole time, did you not know that they were putting on a mask? Because you're so kind and generous. In that time that they were putting on a mask, did they ever actually give you anything? Did they ever actually offer you anything? No. They were just putting on a mask of being kind, being a nice person. But were they actually doing anything nice for you, to you? Other than, do you know what I mean? Other than what? Other than listening to what I had to tell them and then fucking running with it and telling everyone my business. People, man, are fucking... Who the fuck do they think they are? You know what I mean? 
Who the fuck do they think they are? I would twat these people, man. I would batter these people into next Sunday. I really would. I'd knock the fuck out of them. I'm sorry for my language. I don't even mean to speak like that, but who the fuck do they think they are? These cowardly people. You know what I mean? Backstabbers, shit talkers, gossipers, slanderers, fuck off. Get the fuck out of it. You can't let them provoke you. Because then they have power over you. And they know it. These people are cunning, sly, malicious. This is how they operate through deceit. They trick you, they manipulate you, they get you to do things against your own will. It's just the way it goes, man. God sends these people as a test. That's all they are, they're a test. And what follows is a bunch of other tests. A bunch of other people like them. When you overcome one narcissist, two more appear. These people will forever be in my life. Until you pass that test. And it just is what it is, isn't it? And I want to get it done now. I want to hit the nail in the coffin. And just pass the test. And is anyone else going through this, like, on the video? Like, you know what I mean? You know what I'm talking about. These people are... Like, who the fuck do they think they are? Seriously. The cheek of it, the audacity. Everything they do is wrong. Everything they do is in deceit. And they lie in wait when you're at your wheat point to sift you like wheat. Because they operate, operate in, the, in the spirit of Satan. They do. These people are the, demo, the, dev, the devil in camouflage. And you need to recognise it before you end up getting in deep with them. Because then they can really just screw you over. Because then you become attached, you become emotionally involved, you become invested in them. And I've been through it. And I'm coming out of it. I've already came out of it. And they're trying to pull me back. You know what I mean? It's just a big journey. It's all just one big journey. It's all one big test. And it is what it is, isn't it? But, you know, the chosen ones will come out on top. We aren't to, we aren't to be messed with. Chosen ones unite. Chosen ones are chosen for a reason. And it is the select few that are chosen. Many are called, but few are chosen. And the ones that are chosen are chosen for a purpose, a destined path. And these people that are just shit stirrers, they'll come up against you. And they don't know who they're messing with. They really do not. They think they know who you are, and they do not. They have this idea of who they are, of who you are. And of who they are. Well, they have no idea who they are. That's why they try and mess with people like me. The fools, foolish. Just can't wait to see the look on their faces, bro, when I just completely shatter them. Give them an ego death experience. Because their egos are fucking inflated. They're prideful. And that's why they try screwing with me. Because they hate that someone like me, that was someone like them and involved with them, is now separated and up here in their hair. They can't stand it. But if it was anyone else, they'd be okay with it. Maybe not. But it's because it's me. They can't stand to see someone who's pure and like just, righteous, actually be successful. Because most people that are successful are pieces of shit. And they just trample over other people to get successful. And these people tend to manipulate others to get ahead in life. And they see that I'm not like that at all. And they hate it. They think, how's he doing it? How's he doing this? Through the power of the Holy Ghost, that's how. And faith in Christ and God. And I believe in myself to make a difference. And I know that I'm purpose for greater. And I'm still figuring out what that is. I'm a great person. I'm going to do great things. I am. It just is what it is. And these people are who they are. And I am who I am. And, uh, anyway. They are shit eaters. Spectators. In their own life. 
they can't make anything happen because the evil will not prosper it won't it can't it will not and that's that so i'll leave that